Oh, check this thing here, man. Robotics. Oh, and this is a wind power device. Oh, imagine putting this thing in your bike, man. <laughs> Oscilloscopes, multimeters. Beautiful. Ah, oh, electronic straight. Yeah. So I'm going to talk to this guy. What's your name? My name's David. Woo, high five, man. Eh? Yeah. Sorry about the screaming. That's yeah, my. Yeah. So let's. Uh, can you just run through? This is a beautiful mid drive bike. Wires and switches and capacitors coils man oh check this thing oh a bit of cooling here a big powerful mid-drive man eh? so what's happening here like okay. just explain a little bit like i'm yeah. interested like no sweat so it's a bog standard bicycle we purchased <laughs> it we stripped it to pieces it's got no pedals in essence it's got a, a 36 volt lithium ion battery pack yeah it's got a pulse width modulated motor controller Woo! that puts a modified square wave into a DC brushed motor. Woo! And that motor has a little sprocket on this side that talks to a chain, that talks to a bigger sprocket, that goes through a crank to the other side. <laughs> And the big sprocket talks to a chain that drives the cogs at the back. Oh yeah! Okay. <laughs> so, what what we've got is a Hall effect throttle. Yeah. Here, and when we when we move the uh, the hand controller, it's talking to the motor controller, and that motor controller is modifying a square wave to do that increase. It. Yeah, power, man! Yeah. <laughs> Can you roll the throttle all the way just yeah, to get the power? Absolutely. So you might want to get a handle on the speed. And speed, yeah. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and you can change gears here, go even faster. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I can okay. get this. Oh god! So what we got? What we got is a DC brushed motor, and when it goes really, really fast, when you roll the throttle off, the motor overruns. Yeah. And because it's. Um, magnets interacting with coils it turns into a generator and yeah. it generates what's called back emf and that back emf blows up the field effect transistors in here yeah. so what we did we rev the motor to the specific rev range that we knew that was going to blow the motor controller up yeah. we put a strobe light on that sprocket we measured the frequency we did our critical frequency calculations no. and we built a capacitive inductive <laughs> filter. We put this some, is a big filter. It is. We put metal oxide baristas and Schottky diode. No. And that slams the barn door in the face of any back EMF. So oh. it saves <laughs> that from being blown up and it lives. Oh. So what we got here is a cycle analyst computer. Yeah. And that looks at all of the statistics. The speed that the, that the wheel's spinning at. It looks at the surface charge of the battery, the amount of current that's been drawn, the temperature of the motor. We've got a serial data output. Yeah. And that takes all the digital data from this computer and we send it back into a microcontroller back here. <laughs> this microcontroller, we've coded it to talk to a 2.4 gigahertz radio transmitter. Yeah. And the gain of this antenna is such that we can transmit a signal up to 8 kilometers away to a computer. <laughs> 8 kilometers! So all of the data that you can see here <laughs> is being transmitted no. on a computer. <laughs> Just the story of the electric bike. This is beautiful, man. Oh, I love everything, man. Man, I need to shake your hands, man. You rock! Cheers. Electronics forever, man. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so much power. Okay. 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 Okay.